Hello, I'm Bo Grzeski. Today we'll be exploring Screencastify. It's an extension that can be used for screencast recording via Chrome. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right-hand corner. Here's how to get started with Screencastify. Are you hoping to find some unique ways to do some screencasts with your students? Well, look no further than Screencastify. Screencastify is an extension that you can add to your Google Chrome browser, and it's going to help you do awesome screencasts, whether for a whole desktop or just a tab for annotation, or maybe you even want to do a little video of yourself in that lower corner. First thing you want to do is head over to screencastify.com, and you're going to add this to your Chrome browser. After it's been added, it creates an extension on your toolbar. And you'll just need to go through the initial setup on how to sign up with your Google account. You want to make sure that you set all the correct permissions. Okay. And before we go any further, I do want to go over some of these updates that are recently going on with it, including a lot of nice new uh, features here, like unlimited number of recordings. You are just going to be limited to how long the video is, meaning five minutes. Great updates, great ways that you can share your videos as well. And now that I have the extension, I'm going to go on a full screen and I'm going to hit my little extension icon up here. If you want to do webcam only, you can click on that and that will just access your Maybe webcam. You want to do an engaging opening to your screencast. Tutorials. The desktop is when we can go through multiple tabs and take you through everything on there. But let's go to browser tab for this one. I'm going to make sure I can turn on my embed webcam too if I wanted to. And for browser tab, let's look at some of the options that we can or do not have for this one. I'm going to hit record. So you can see that I have my little preview window down there in the bottom because I've enabled that. And in the lower left hand corner, I now have these other options such as my marker where I can solve some simple little math problems or maybe if I just want to draw on there, I can do that. Or if I need to erase, I can erase everything I got. I could take my Cursor and just draw across. So this would be a nice way that I can get some tutorials and stuff done for my students, help them out with it. I have my other options on my little preview window down here that I can click on. Maybe I want to flip it around, or maybe I need to go back in full screen and show you something really quick. Oh boy, that is really big. So let me hit the screen again, take it down to just a window. Don't want to distract the students too, too much. If you're on Chrome like I am, and if you need to get out of not showcasing your browsers, I'm on my Mac, so I'm going to hit Command Shift F, and that'll take me out of that. If I were to go to another tab, and I'm going to click on that, let's see if this shows up in my recording as well for Screencastify. Notice now that my tools are not down here on the bottom. So that is a drawback of the tab mode. Tab mode is really designed for just that one tab that you're in. And you can see my icon right here. That that would be the one I'm recording, the one I'm drawing on, and the one that's going to be saved for Screencastify. So you can see this part when it went black. That's probably when I went to another tab at that time. So use your tab recording for just one tab at a time. Use desktop recording for all tabs and use webcam if you just want to record your webcam. One of the beauties of this tool is that your video automatically goes to your Google Drive when it's all done. Um, you can publish it right to your YouTube channel if you have one of those set up. I love the instant share to Google Classroom because then you can just pick your class and where it needs to go to. But maybe you want to go back and trim it up or add some effects. They do have an editor but that is a premium feature that you can utilize. Um, but I do want to just show you how to trim. Maybe you need to take a little bit off the beginning or end. And you would just hit your little scissors on the main video page and decide what you need to bring in. Like, yeah, maybe I just want to focus on my main page here where I just go over the website. So I could bring my scissors in, scrub it back and forth. It should stop. I could see my new uh, playtime. If I hit the play button, it would just play that. If I'm happy with it, I'm going to hit save trim and it will take over the original video and that's okay because I've already got it recorded on my other screen. Okay, so I have my trim video now. This is my name of the video file. I can call it whatever I wanted to. Um, that'll save. You can trim.
crash it, you can get that link again, you could share all these other options, even more options. Maybe you want to make some interactive things with QR codes in your class. I'm going to save this video for uh, to be combined later, so I'm just going to export it as an MP4. And I'm going to just keep it at 30 frame frame. Now that it has been exported, I have to actually save it to my computer. So I'm going to now download it, know what it's called and where I'm saving it, and now I'm saved. But maybe you want to go a little step further, and that's by hitting our More Options button on to the side. All of your recordings will go to a particular folder in your Google Drive, sign in with your G.Ori account. Uh, if you want to go unlimited, you go for that. The editor is a premium feature. Uh, you might want to check out some of these options where you get to play around where it gets stored, uh, staved, um, any other little things that you might want to play around with on there. You could play around with that. Um, some other things you might be interested in are the classroom resources that they have available including some ideas, or maybe if you even want to get a badge notifying how awesome you are with Screencastify. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like Discast Podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Deer Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.